for school board. Uh, Thomas, if you want to come back to My name is Thomas Eslund, and I uh, have lived in Raytown for seven years. Um, lived here with my wife and our family. I have a daughter in um, elementary school, and next year I'll have two children in elementary school. Um, I've been a teacher for almost 15 years. I think it's really important that we have a teacher on the school board. Um, I know that we can't have somebody who teaches in Raytown on the school board. Um, but I think that given the current situation in education, all the legislative policies that have been passed down, it's vitally important that somebody in the classroom has a say uh, on the board. And so I would be honored and privileged to be able to do that. Well, I'm sure all of you know my name. I'm Mary Jane Van Buskirk. I've lived in Raytown for 42 years. I've been here during the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I don't intend on leaving. Um, Raytown is like every other city around. We've got our problems. So does every other city. And we need to work hard together to get these things fixed. We've got codes issues. We've got lighting issues, street lighting issues. Uh, we need more police protection in neighborhoods. Um, and street maintenance. I don't have all the answers. Far from it. But I think if I'm given a chance, I can help straighten a lot of things out. I'm not afraid to call City Hall. I'm not afraid to raise a ruckus, believe me. They know me up there. I I make phone calls and I go up there. So, um, it's just something that's not going to be solved in one day. And it doesn't just take one person. We all have to work together. We can't take Raytown back to what it was, back in what we call the good old days. But we can all work together and make it better than it is today. And that's what it's going to take. It's going to take all of us working together to make it better. And I would appreciate your vote on April 7th. Thank you. Hi, I'm Steve Myers, and nobody knows me. <laughs> <laughs> well, a few, unfortunately. Um, half my speech just went out the window, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Actually, uh, I, I'm a lifetimer here. I graduated from Raytown High. I have a business here. And I live here and I'm committed to the community. <clears throat> Even though my ex-wives weren't, that, that's, they left, which is probably <laughs> best for them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Mary Jane covers issues, and if you guys have been doing this a long time, you've heard lots of people, probably right here, say the same things about the town. Same, same objects, same issues. Same problems. And they're improving. They're improving. I'm a half full glass type of guy. Because there's plenty of people that are half empty types. And a lot of times that doesn't, that doesn't progress to, to getting things better. So obviously, I think some of the strengths that I bring to the table is I'm active. I've been in a lot of committees. Hopefully always a positive member of those committees and bring something to the table in that regard. I'm a hard worker. If I've ever been on a committee with me, I show up, I participate, and I try to be a positive influence on that committee. So we need a lot of new, fresh people in committees and involved in our community. The same folks, appreciate them, but they're not bringing a lot of fresh ideas. And they get tired, and I can appreciate that. Anybody's worked on the chamber committees with Bob Sego? You know, I mean, golly, we just strap him on and whip him like an old dog. He needs to sit, he, he deserves an opportunity to sit down. And one of the areas I'd like to see better in our community is marketing. We have a very, very great community with diverse people. And that is a strength. It's a true strength. It may not be for every, every family, but we need diverse young families moving into our community and investing in our community. And I don't think we do a good enough job of propping up Raytown to its strengths. And we have plenty. So that's me. That's what I'm all about. And I too wish to get your vote. And uh, wish Mary Jane the best. She's my neighbor. You talk about interest in race. That's one. <laughs> that's one. But we agree on 99% of things and it's all about getting Raytown better. So. Thanks for having me tonight. My name is Ryan Myers. Uh, I'm running for Ward 3. 
Um, for those of you wondering, I am old enough to vote. <laughs> uh, just a little bit about myself. I grew up in the Raytown community. Um, my brother is graduating from Raytown next year, or actually this May. Uh, my parents are both Raytown High School graduates as well as my grandmother. Um, I graduated in 2007. Um, then I went to Kansas State. My degree is in economics, uh, minor in German. Um, just to echo what Steve said, I want to be a fresh, fa fresh face to Raytown. Um, I have a lot of fresh ideas that I think could help. The average age of my uh, constitu constituency in my ward is 64. So I'd like to be able to support the older community, part of my community as well as try to introduce younger, young, young professionals such as myself back into Raytown to start kind of the cycle over again. Um, I guess if you'd like to know anything about me, feel free to let me out. Thank you all for having me. I'm Eric Tiemann. I'm from Ward 5, uh, running for Alderman. I grew up in Raytown. I've lived in Raytown for the better part of 30 years. Graduated from Raytown South in 1995. I've raised all three of my children in Raytown for pretty much their entire lives. Uh, my oldest daughter will be graduating from Raytown South High School. God, in two years. <laughs> but she will be graduating with, with an associate's degree at the same time, so that's pretty cool. Um, my other daughter is in seventh grade at Raytown South Middle, and I have a two-year-old son who, God love him. Bears me out. Um, so, anyways, uh, with with having kids and having seen how Raytown was when I grew up through Raytown and went to school here, um, and seeing how my kids have grown up and gone to school here in Raytown, I've seen a, a great decline in a lot of the activities that are available to our students and our children in this community and they're all having to drive out to places like Lee Summit, Blue Springs, and Raymore just to get basic activities like softball and baseball and things like that. So that's going to be one thing that is really near and dear to my heart that uh, I'm very passionate about making sure we can try to bring some activities back to this town for. Uh, I've also uh, been running my family small business for the last 10 years and we uh, take care of senior citizens in their homes. Um, so, I also have an understanding of the issues that the senior citizens and, and the community are dealing with. I, I know the facilities and the places around town, and we really do have one of the better senior communities in the Kansas City area, and we need to continue to make sure we, we're able to cater to that because uh, it's, there, there, are, there are difficulties for senior citizens, and I think we do a good job of helping them out around in Raytown, but we need to make sure we keep doing that. So. My name is Greg Walters. I am running for Alderman in Ward 1. I've been on City Council before. This will be uh, a return visit for me. I have um, been about six or seven years since I was on the City Council. My campaign this time around, and, and I appreciate the new fresh faces that are coming forward. However, I, having been the experience and once heard an old saying that if you wait around long enough, you'll see it all again. I remember when Jerry and I started on the City Council many years ago, back in the 1980s. We had a program that they used on the streets called Slurry Seal. We went to the public works director and said, we're not doing Slurry Seal anymore. Because it was ruining people's paint jobs on their cars. It really didn't work very well. And if you stick around long enough, now it's called Light Aggregate Seal. Uh, it, it, pretty much, it pretty much encases any cracks, holes, or anything like that. It, you know, it's, it's, it's better than it was, but it is nothing compared to what it should be. If we want to raise the value of properties in Raytown, if we want to make our city look better, we need to increase the amount of base, basic services. More street lights in areas where they definitely need them badly. Uh, when you redo a street, do it properly. Repave it, put asphalt on it, take the old off, put the new on it. These are the things that I think that have been pushed aside the past couple of years, and we need to move forward and go ahead and, and do over and start doing it like we were before. Um, I'm always open to new ideas. Um, it's interesting, the young, young man that just spoke, Mr. Tiemann, he spoke of uh, kids' sports, children's sports, is basically what I heard. And I, when I was bringing my children up, um, we had softball leagues, soccer leagues. Uh, I started a league at my church. Uh, 
for third and fourth graders at the school they went to. And we have lost a lot of our population. Another gentleman spoke about how our his population base is 64 and older in uh, his ward. Uh, it takes a while for neighborhoods to turn, but I, I see it in Ward 1, which is one of the oldest neighborhoods, oldest wards in the city. You're starting to see younger families come in and repopulate houses uh, and, and upgrading them and so forth. So I have a lot of faith in the future for Raytown. One other thing on a personal note, uh, we're having in my family a, uh, a grandbaby watch because my, grand, my daughter-in-law is about ready to have her first child and she's due tonight, but I don't think it's going to happen tonight. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I have to refer to our uh, featured speaker, um, candidate for mayor, uh, Michael Feather. Good evening. I think I know pretty much everybody here except some of the younger and younger people. Uh, Steve and several other people said it. You see some fresh blood in here and some fresh ideas. It's also good to see the knowledge and uh, the politics that uh, people been in in the past to bring some experience with them. Um, I grew up in Raytown. I came here in 63 to Bay Kennedy. got shot. I've been here for 51 years. I graduated from Raytown Schools, Raytown South High School, class of 73. Sorry, Mr. Ryan. But, um, I've seen a lot of things being out on the street like I have, worked with a lot of people, been involved in a lot of charities. Um, I am currently on the board of REAP, and I'm also currently on the board for quite a long time now of the Ray Pound Police Benefit Fund, which is a community benefit fund. That fund in the last 10 years has raised over $100,000 and disseminated that money to many, many charities from Hope House, uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, golf tournaments, uh, children's programs uh, in the schools, lunch ministries, uh, Hope House, on and on and on and on. And uh, I work with some very wonderful police officers, businessmen, uh, Steve Mock's on our board. Um, we work really hard to, to try to make things better for those less fortunate here in Raytown. Uh, with that being said, <coughs> because of those skills and also because of the fact that I spent the last uh, 20 years as a sergeant uh, running a division and having to work with fire, EMS, public works, police department, city hall on all kinds of projects when we have all of these things like parades, um, things down in the parks, all the nice things that we really do need to keep going. I would coordinate all of those. That would be my assignment to coordinate all of those. So I have the people skills it takes to get all of those people working together and try to make it all seamless so that when you all are at something, it's easy in, easy out, and you don't even notice. You know, you try to make it where you don't even notice. So that's, that's what I have as far as my people skills. Um, as far as what I envision for Raytown, my vision for Raytown is I want to see the neighborhoods improve, I want to see the small businesses improve, I want to see strong codes enforcement, but I want it to be productive and fair. I want to see that we review the streets and how we do, how we do those, because that is a big issue. On, I go out and I campaign for those taxes to be used for good roads and good sidewalks and good curbs, not what we're getting half the time. Um, I also uh, want to see, working with lots and lots of people that we have that are talented here in Raytown, getting all the communities together, community people together, and try to see what kind of visions people have of what they want to do. We're, we're missing out so much on people stopping here to go to restaurants and shopping here because they're going to the stadiums or they're going to other places and they go right on by because there's no place. And I think we can make that happen, but we have to work hard to try to get the downtown established and the downtown going. Um, there's so much going on out there on, on like Raytown Road and 63rd Street right now that I just don't understand. That, that doesn't help downtown any, make it look like that on the way to City Hall. Um, I believe that with my leadership, because of the fact that I have the people skills that I have, I've been around Raytown for so long, and I know people, and I know what they want, and they talk to me, and they will help me, that I would make a really good mayor and that I know this town because I've been here for so long. 